Hello guys, welcome to Deep Codes and in today's video, we will discuss Red Code question 1319 that says number of operations to make network connected. So here you are given n computers connected uh, number from 0 to n minus 1 and connected by Ethernet cables. Uh, so this connection between two computers is given in this connection 2D RM where connection of I represents the connection between two computers A and B. Further, you are given the initial computer network uh, connection represented by this connection RM and you have to extract some of the uh, cables uh, uh, that are connected between two directly connected computers and place them between any pair of disconnected computers to make them connected. So guys, as you can see, the cable between computer 1 and 2 is useless uh, because uh, the computer 1 and 2 is directly connected with uh, this cable like 0 to 1 and 0 to 2. So with this cable, they are connected, already connected. So if you remove this cable between 1 and 2, then also this two, this all these three computers will remain connected. So and also you can see that there is one disconnected compute, uh, component uh, that is the computer three. So if you take a cable from here between one and two and place it here between one and three, so yeah, you can make this whole uh, all the computers connected. So you have, your task is the same thing. Your task is if you have any disconnected computer in a given connect in a connection or a given graph, then you will need to use some redundant cables and uh, connect it uh, connect to the disconnected computer right got till here and if it is not possible to do this then simply return minus one okay so if you take a look in the example two that there is uh, you can say that there is two redundant connection between one and two and zero and three although this all uh, four computers are connected there are two redundant cables so yeah we can use these cables to connect from one to four and four to five and we simply did this we connected the computers zero uh, one to four and four to five with uh, one of this cable, one of these cables, another this cable. Got it. So uh, we use uh, two uh, two cables. Like we made two operations. So yeah, we return two. Here we return one because there was only one operation. Now if you look at this here, so let me explain you by drawing uh, a graph type of thing. So let me take here. Uh, understand this is a computer zero. Then computer one, zero and one are connected. Now zero and two are also connected. This computer 2, 0 and 3 are also connected. Computer 3, now 1 and 2 are also connected. Okay. You have to another more computer. See, n represents the number of computers. 4, computer 4, and computer 5. Okay, you have this many number of computers. And now, as you guys can see, that there is one redundant connection between 1 and 2 because all they are already connected. So, uh, what you can do is, uh, you can uh, take the cable from 1 and 2 and connect 1 and 4 okay got it but after this also there is one computer that is still disconnected this is still disconnected and there are no cables uh, no redundant cables that we can use to connect this computer so yeah there are no inner not enough cables so we return minus one for this question so guys still now i hope you have some understanding or some idea of uh, what we are doing in this question we are simply making disconnected uh, computers connected okay see now moving ahead I want to ask you some of the question. This question means this problem here, this lit code problem can be solved easily by asking some question yourself. See, first basic question is, let's say you have n computers, then how many cables you require? Um, that means uh, how many cables require to connect n computers. How many cables are required? The answer is simple. N minus one cables. Okay. Note note this, huh? See if you have computers like zero, one, uh, uh forgot this, forgot this thing right now. Two, three, four, five, six. You have some uh, computers like this, seven computers are there, and you need to connect them. So what you do the minimum required cables? Uh uh, let me write here minimum see one cable you, you take from 0 to 1 other you can take from uh, 1 to 4 then 2 to 3 then uh, 3 to 5 5 to 6 and let's say 4 to 6 okay so this type of some connection you have made so count how many cables are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 so to connect seven computers you require 7 minus 1 that is 6 cables so n minus 1 cables are the minimum number of cables required to connect n computers okay got it uh, uh, okay now second thing 
what you are given you are given connections at m connection 2d at m okay now if i ask you uh, what is connection dot size represent what does this will represent this will simply represent the total cables you have okay this will simply rep represent this that this will represent the total number of cables you have in the current current the current computer connections got it so let's say this is l total number of cables so if l is less than n minus 1 then you will simply return minus 1 because to connect n computers you you must require n minus 1 cables and l is the total number of cables you have currently and if l is less than n minus 1 then simply return minus 1 okay see this is condition or uh, like this so if you have uh, 0 1 2 3 4 so they here you have n equal to 5 5 computers and let's say 0 and 1 is connected 1 and 2 is connected uh, 0 and 2 is connected and 1 is 2, 1 and 2 is also connected so here you have l equal to 3 now can you uh, connect all the computers with this so if you want to do this see let me write is again so if you use this redundant cable from 0 to 2 and use it here 2 to 3 then also one computer will still remain independent means not connected so when l is less than n minus 1 this condition arise then simply return minus 1 because it is not possible to make all the computers connected with the given number of cables clear till here okay okay now the third thing that we have to do here is uh, get our answer that means uh, you will need to find number of operation to make or instead of make you can sell to connect all n computers okay so that means that means let me give you again one example So this is some computer uh, connections you are given here. Just look at it. Okay. So guys, as you can now see that here the total uh, see here n is what eight. Here l is what means l is the number of cables. Here l is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. So now uh, now uh, l uh, is greater than or equal to n minus one means l is equal equal to n minus one. So yeah, we won't. We will be able to connect all the computers with a given number of cables. This condition is on isn't a part of here. Okay, this condition is um, uh, satisfied. Yeah, right. Now, now what we need? We need answer. Answer that is the number of operation to make all the uh, n computers connected. Okay. Now for that, in for doing this, what we need? First, we need something like how many are the disconnected? Same. The thing is. Uh, you want to make all the computers connected and if you have n minus one number of cables then you will surely connect all the computers this is guaranteed okay if you have n computers and n minus one cables then it is guaranteed that you can connect all the computers okay clear here this is the first point that we have already discussed to connect n computers we need n minus one cables and if you have n minus one cables then it is surely it is a short shot that we can connect all the computers okay now here the only thing remaining is to find uh, the number of operation to connect all the end computers but what is this number of operation that is simple that num this is the number of disconnected computers here see this is one different set of computers this is second set of computers and this is third set of computers if you can somehow identify that how many such different sets are there different sets of computer connections are there then we can simply get our answer our answer would be what uh, this uh, number of this let's say number of groups minus one okay this would be our answer why minus one to connect three groups we require two cables one cable from here to here and second cable from here to here okay got it so yeah number of this uh, groups minus one now the only thing remaining is to identify how many these groups are there or how we can make a group of one such connection okay and the answer is uh, simple that is disjoint signed union how, D, uh, how DSU will work? See, for this to understand, you need to have some basic idea of DSU. Where we use DSU? See, DSU is used when we have to make grouping. 
uh, make groups of nodes okay got it so whenever you have to make some groups like this see this is nothing but groups whenever you have to make some groups then we will use, we can we will use disjoint set union data structure okay now disjoint set union will do what will take one group and will assign some parent p1 will if for the group 2 it will assign some parent p2 for group group 3 it will assign some parent p3 so for all the nodes from 0 to n minus 1 to total number of parents are the total number of different parents total number of different parents this would be equal to what this would be equal to a uh, number of disconnected components okay okay see this is one such component this is second component third component component one has parent p1 component two has parent p2 component three has parent p3 so how many uh, so the number of different parents are there that means numbers of components or the disconnected components are there and this is simply uh, you can simply get this by how by using data uh, data structure dsu that's destroyed set union this will uh, give you uh, the number of disconnected component okay so yeah now this question uh, turns out to be easy right first thing what we did we we understood that for uh, to connect n computers n minus one cables are simply required now if the total number of cables are less than n minus one then we simply write in minus one now the last thing was remaining to give the answer if you have enough cables then you need to return how many operation to make such that all the computers are connected and for that we need to search find how many different disconnected components or disconnected computer groups are there so if you have three groups like this here you require two cables to connect them so yeah, our answer would be number of such groups minus one so clear till here our approach is also simple we will be using distance set union uh, of all so and if to make these groups we will use the make union function of dsu and to find how many different parents are there we will use find parent and store it in our set so yeah let me go through the code once so you guys can have better understanding see this complete thing class dsu is nothing but a ds data structure uh, data structure dsu code snippet and i will provide you this in the comment in the first comment okay now our code is this simple this is this is it okay see this is the base condition that we have to check if the number of cables or the connection dot size is less than n minus 1 then return minus 1 okay then we initialize our data structure then we made make make union use make union to connect between two computers whose connection is already there in this given connections okay now as i have already told you that number of different parents is equal to number of different groups so all the different groups are different parents so how we can uh, get the how many different parents are there so for that i use one set data structure right and inserted all parents of all the nodes from 0 to n 0 to n minus 1 all the all different computers have different parents so i store them in a set and what the set uh, dot size that is parent dot size will give it will give the number of parents and minus 1 would be our answer simple it is right so yeah that's all for this video okay now talking about the time and space complexity and that would be time complexity would be big o of n plus e so here n is the number of nodes and e is the number of edges see if you guys can see here that whenever we initialize ds to data structure it will take big o of n time complexity here and for each node we are calling this make union function so this will also take a big o of uh, e time complexity and again also we are calling this uh, for all the nodes 0 to n so it will be big o of 2n plus e but overall you can take this as big o of n plus e right and space complexity would be big o of n because this we are initializing this initializing this dsu for n number of nodes so the space complexity is big o of n so yeah that's all for this video if you guys have any doubts then do let me in the comment section make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel thank you